I wanted to come and talk to you today a little bit about the budget, but before I do that, I wanted to commend you for the great job that all of you have been doing in every part of the department on both the civilian side and the sworn side to reduce our crime rate and to improve the quality of life for the citizens of our community. As you know, last year in 2008, our crime rates were down 8 and 10 percent respectively for violent crime and property crime. Those are really big numbers and I'm really happy with your efforts in getting the bad guys off of the street and the repeat offenders off of the street that are causing that crime rate to continue uh, to be a factor for our community. But this year, the numbers are even better. Uh, this year, on top of the 8% reduction last year in violent crime, violent crime is down from January to October of this year by over 17% and property crime is also down this year through the first 10 months by over 23 percent. So in combination with the work that you did in 2008, looking at what has been going on in 2009, uh, you're truly to be commended for the fantastic job that all of you are doing in making this one of the safest major cities in the country. Uh, in Looking at all of those numbers, they are fantastic numbers, but they become even greater when people understand that we're doing that with even fewer people. As you know, we're holding a large number of vacant sworn positions right now, and in spite of that, having fewer people to do the work, you're able to make those really significant impacts on crime. And I'm very proud of you and the work that you have done. Even though we're holding a significant number of vacancies, uh, it's important to understand why we're holding those positions vacant. We have been able to hold those positions vacant as people retire from our department uh, so that we can use the salary savings that's generated by the position not being filled to meet our uh, goals from city management and from the mayor and council to reduce our overall budget. So that's how we've done the majority of it. We looked at programs, we cut equipment costs, we've done all the things that we can do to cut the budget. Uh, but at some point, the 85% of our operating budget is spent on salaries and benefits. So when you get much beyond where we're already at with the cuts that we have made in the budget, you have to start looking at personnel and that's what we have done in creating those vacancies through attrition. The problem now is is that we have had those uh, vacant positions for some time hoping that the economy was going to turn around and once the economy turns around then we would start to fill all of those positions and those positions have been held vacant at every level from assistant chief all the way to officer as well as some civilian positions. So the problem now is, is that the budget has not turned around. The economy in the country has continued to falter. That is going to be significant in the following uh, 12 months from now. The uh, current deficit for the city is over $105 million. And then we're still going to have declining income because of the lack of sales taxes into next year. The question is, how much more are we going to have to be able to cut as a city to be able to uh, work within the parameters of our budget 